Hello everybody. For almost the entire time I've owned a CNC machine, I've really wanted to have a vacuum table. Unfortunately, I've never had an express need for it, so it's always kind of been on the back burner. Even though I haven't really needed it, I've always been curious about just how viable a simple vacuum table would be at clamping wood and other materials down. I settled on a design that would allow me to mill the entirety of the MDF base all at once. Then after gluing a couple of thinner pieces of MDF to the base, I could simply drill holes into its work area. Alright, so we got all the holes drilled out finally and got it a little bit cleaned up and everything dusted off from all the MDF dust. But uh, let's see if it actually can hold uh, this brass shim stock in place or not. Uh, see how much force it actually gives it because honestly right now it, this is still just an experiment. Let's see if it works. Alright, so hopefully you can kind of see that, I don't know, it seems like, it seems like you have to have quite a lot of, uh, like, purchase in that on it to really pull it. So I'm kind of curious if it will work or not. We're going to give it a try. Uh, obviously, as you can, when I moved it so there was a whole row open, it kind of was a lot easier to move. So I think the big trick is going to see once it's milled through, you know, all I'm going to be making is a couple very small shims out of this. Uh, so we're going to see just how much suction we lose. Um, this might be kind of an extreme case of trying to use a vacuum table for this. It probably would work better for wood because there would be more friction between the MDF and the wood itself versus this is kind of a slipperier material being metal. So let's give it a try. Just a couple things I'd like to mention is one, you might notice that I don't have the clamps holding down the back of the vacuum table. That was a mistake, I should have done that. Two, I shouldn't have put the brass right on the edge. And three, I never really actually wanted it to mill all the way through, but it did despite my best efforts. Yeah, and you can see my hand jot in and out a couple times. Good time to talk about safety. Yeah, don't do what I'm doing here. It's probably not a good idea. Enough said. Wah. Well, that sucked. That didn't work at all. Well, it worked for a little while until it started ripping it through. You can see there's quite a lot of... So, that didn't work. Oh, well. Still worth a try. We'll do it a different way. Alright, so, basically what you can see happened it probably would have worked if I would have been farther into the material instead of trying to trying to work right on the edge but yeah that was a better idea in concept and then it worked out in reality so it looks like the bit kind of pulled it up which I was kind of expecting might be a one of the possibilities I still think the vacuum table worked pretty good actually should work better for you know something like wood I think so we'll try it on that This shot's really cool because it shows off just how many of the uh, little holes are being, uh, you know, opened up and it's still holding really good actually. Although if I pull with just a little bit more force, it pops off pretty easy. Well, that worked a lot better than the brass did. <laughs> um, as you kind of could tell, it, it held in there just fine with no problems. Even when it um, cut through and you could see plenty of, of the holes, you know, letting or kind of breaking up some of the vacuum suction. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like they're perfect. They did not move. 
or anything. So I guess the kind of the consensus that I'm seeing so far with the two tests I've ran with this vacuum table is that well the brass I could have been a couple reasons one it could have been that I didn't have the, cl the back clamps mounted on it like an idiot uh, and it was actually so the table was kind of pulled up a little bit or the brass might have been pulling uh, you know brass from what I understand can do that or you know it just was a bad bad material for a vacuum table uh, you know to be even trying so wood seems to be working real good uh, so I'm pretty excited about using this thing and a lot easier to use this than to have a bunch of clamps and everything you know especially when you want to try to save wood like this operation is one that I've had for I don't know how long and it's actually I mean it's like kind of not even centered on this piece of wood because this one was actually shorter than what I, I think the job you know was supposed to have so you know that's kind of more or less why that was off like that so other than those things I think that the vacuum table worked great uh, and I'm pretty excited about how that all turned out hopefully you enjoyed uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like the video all that stuff and have a good day bye